Hi everybody. Today I'm going to show you some stuff I got for free. And yes, in front of the camera there we got a potentiometer, small one, with a little switch in it. As you can hear, they should click. Yes. And it turn all the way around as well. Yes, but throw away that one. That was nothing. This is what I call a potentiometer. It's a big one. The rheostat, or a big potentiometer, it looks like a variac. Cresol S500 made in England. I don't know what which year, but it's it's not so new, but it's awesome. Look at that big fat brush. It's 500 ohms, I think it's 40 watts. This one is a 40 watt, 500, 500 ohms. Yes, I don't know what to use for. Are you controlling ZVS or something? The gate voltage for MOSFETs. The 500 ohms, that's good. Yes, and that's one thing. And do you want to guess, guess what that thing is? Yeah, this thing is a high voltage fuse holder. There's two of them. They're pretty long. So measure that, so how long they are. The half meter or something. Oh, 40 centimeters. Yes, I think these are rated for 24 kV. To put the fuse in there, so it's hollow, no fuse in it. It was three of them, but the third one was completely crushed. Yes, the third one was crushed. I think the fuse inside it had exploded and this one was cracked with that. Because there's two pieces of it. On the bottom piece and the top piece. And I think the rest of it fall on the grass under the pole. Yes, I found this in a scrap bin. And in that scrap bin... Yes, the scrap bin was... A uh, form of these with high voltage and pole insulators and some stuff and this is one other insulator I found standoff big one 25 kV as well yes it begins to get pornographic here a scrap bin full of these and lots of metal and scrap like that. This pornographic. I find a fat cable with a through there. I have a fat rather fuse. Fit two of these, isn't it? That's fat. How many lamps? Was run through that. Big aluminum wires go through that. Hmm. Lots of amps. But that's nothing. The fuses are not so big deal. But the best part is, and now it gets really pornographic here, we got a pylon insulator. Uh, six of these. Not these six of plates which goes together. It's a cap and pin. As you can see, there's a cap, and that's a pin. A pin on the bottom side, and yes, it's very nice. This thing weighs a bloody ton. It's so damn heavy, this one. But it looks so nice. A lot of these in there. The pin. 
this one was three ones and one section with two of these and this is you know plug and pin no cap and pin <laughs> yes so I just connected them together like this it looks like a pylon insulator and there was lots of these things that bloody bin I didn't take all of them because I couldn't even carry it these one weighs about 20 kilos I think it's like damn heavy this one I think it's no, not 20, maybe 18 kilos or something. Yes, and you may want to see one of these. Let's take one away. Okay. Let's take our pliers and take it off. It pulled it down. So it It's out. Let's take it off. That's how it looks like. I want these face two kilos. They're pretty heavy. Pretty thick gloss on it. I think one of these are twelve kV. That's two of these. It's on each, so I think that's will so that two twelves it is 24 kV. That's the only power line we got here in this small town. Yes, 24 kV. Let's see of this. I want to pick more up. I want to drill a hole in the ceiling and hang it there. But when it's waste this much, I don't know how to do it. It's awesome. Thanks for watching.